Displace or pour concrete process, mix with water, shoot or pump, consolidate, screed, and float. One of my professors would say, we don't pour concrete, we place concrete. If you can pour it, it's too wet. Granted, that was 30 years ago, and self-consolidating concrete SEC is definitely poured. However, in general, the term place is often used when installing cast-in place concrete. The process begins with mixing water with the cement and aggregate. Water activates the hardening chemical reaction in cement, which usually requires placement in the next 30 to 60 minutes. Constant mixing is usually required to resist segregation of mixture components and why concrete trucks have rotating barrels. Concrete is placed into ready forms via mixer truck chute or concrete pump. Concrete pump trailers utilize sections of flexible 4 to 6 inch piping. Concrete pump trucks have extending arms over which the piping reaches the pore area. Multi-truck pores require mixed trucks backed up to make sure the placement continues to completion and hardening ensures a monolithic placement single unit. Consolidate concrete with a vibrator or vibratory screeds. Screeding levels the concrete to the form height. Bull float after screeding brings aggregate free concrete to the surface. Hand magnesium float to the surface. The surface. Trowel and insert control joints to control cracking every five to six feet. Cure with water over time to reduce hairline surface cracks. Multiple choice question. Place or pour concrete process. A. Mix with water, shoot or pump, consolidate, screed, and float. B. Panels or wood used to hold wet concrete in place. C. Cast in place concrete can be made to any shape needed. D. Wet concrete test of consistency or workability using a cone. Well, the best answer choice in this case from what we've been given for place or pour concrete process is A. Mix with water, shoot or pump, consolidate, screed, and float.